Right now, we're witnessing a robust, yet quiet bull market in the healthcare staffing space. Thanks to the improving economy and the Affordable Care Act, hospitals are getting many more patients, which means they need more doctors and nurses, two areas where qualified workers are already in short supply. That is very good news for the companies that provide hospitals with outsourced staffing and recruitment services. Just take a look at Kramer Fave AMN Healthcare. That symbol is AHS, a stock that's rallied over 18% year to date already giving us a terrific 51% gain since we last spoke to the CEO seven months ago. AMN Healthcare, which just rang the opening bell yesterday, celebrated its 30th anniversary. It's the largest healthcare staffing and physician search company in the country. It's also what's known as a managed service provider, or MSP, a type of healthcare cost containment play, where hospitals basically let AMN use its expertise to manage the business side of things so they can focus on treating patients. They serve thousands of hospitals, clinics, medical centers, government facilities, and other healthcare organizations, including New York Presbyterian, Cedar sinai just to name a couple of their big clients. Now, AMN Healthcare reported a terrific quarter in late February, caused the stock to rally more than 11% in a single session. Since then, AMN has been trading sideways, at least until today, when the stock caught an upgrade from UBS, rallied a dollar thirteen or five percent. So let's check in with Susan Salk, because she's the president and CEO of AMN Healthcare Services. Hear more about how our company's doing and where it's headed. Ms. Salka, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. Good to see you. Really Have a seat. Thank back. you. So great. Now, uh, first, happy anniversary. Thank you. Well, likewise to you. Oh, well, thank you. on your 10-year anniversary. Thank you very much. What does it mean for 30 years? What do you think? How, how are you feeling? Well, I am so proud of the organization and how it's evolved over the years. Uh, we started as a single-service travel nurse company over the years, diversified and evolved to be the largest comprehensive healthcare staffing company, and more recently have made that next step in our evolution to be the leader in workforce solutions. And that's really been a great move for us and our clients. Yeah, I mean, you've done some remarkable things. Now, I do want to point out that in your conference call, you said uh, the market environment accelerated mid-year as the stronger economy, millions of newly insured patients released pent-up demand for both healthcare services and underlying clinical labor. The reason I mentioned that is that right before it happened, you came on and you said this was going to happen. How yeah. did you know? Well, we started to see the momentum begin in the second quarter, and it really picked up into the second half of the year. And in fact, as we started this year, we've continued to see it. Our orders in nursing, in particular, are over double that, I saw that. of it was last double. year. I thought that was amazing. But Henderson said that the. Uh, the president of healthcare staff. Yes, Ralph. Yes. And so we've seen great momentum. And it's not just in nursing. Our allied is b businesses up, uh, locums, our physician businesses right. up. In fact, as we look at the first quarter, we gave guidance that we'll be up over 30% year over mm -hmm. year. Now, there's some effect of acquisitions in there, but even right. on an organic basis, we're going to be up almost 20% year over year. And it's really across all of our businesses. Well, so that allied staffing, approximately 40%, that's yeah. a huge part yes. of your business. Yes. And on an organic basis, it's 20%. But we've seen great pickup in the demand for physical and occupational therapists. Why do you think that? Well, there's a whole variety of things driving increase in demand for healthcare services. The aging population, I really think right. we are starting right. to see that momentum. You said that was going to happen momentum. last time you were on, and you were absolutely right. Yes. That, click, that kicked and in. And newly insured, with mm -hmm. millions of more patients right. now having access to paid health care, we're definitely seeing an increase in census and utilization. Okay, I like to ask people when I, uh, in my uh, bailiwick, what would you like to ask her? And Everyone said, oh, well, wait a second, there's a big nursing shortage. How did, you, how did she find her nurses? Her well, nurses. You know, Especially given the fact that throughout this, you seem to have them, nobody else does. Yeah, well, you know, we, we have to really compete and work hard to recruit those nurses okay. as well. But we've been fortunate to be able to build the largest network and database of healthcare professionals in the country. And again, it's across all clinical specialties, nursing, allied, and physician. And so when the demand really heats up, we have probably an advantage of being able to tap into that pool. And our our team has done an excellent job of really deploying some innovative digital marketing tools in order to really recruit those nurses back into the industry. All right, now how about this vendor management systems business, which to me, January 2015, so we're talking about something that could really mean, be meaningful for the second half of this year. Yes, well, all of our workforce solutions are doing extremely well, and it's been a real differentiator for us, and it's created a lot of opportunity to add more value for our clients. So things like managed services programs, mm -hmm. where we're the leader, vendor management solutions, we right. now have two. VMS solutions that we offer for clients that just want to use technology in order to be more efficient in the way they contract for their contingent staff. And more recently, we've acquired Avantis, which is right. a leading provider of predictive analytics to help our clients to better forecast what their staffing needs are going to be. Now, there's one thing in the time we have remained that, that kind of mystified me, kind of zeitgeist. In your both your footnotes and your presentations, you talk about how doctors... I don't want to say they don't like their lives anymore, but they're having like some sort of like kind of crisis in terms of their what they're like leading their life. What is that about? 
Well, we've definitely seen a shift in how physicians want to deliver patient care. It used to be that many physicians were either sole practitioners or part of a practice. You saw the pendulum swing to where they wanted to be employed by hospitals right. and, and or have their practice acquired. And so that's really created a different dynamic. It's actually been very positive for the physicians in that they can focus on what they love to do and what they went to school to do, and that is deliver quality patient care. But it's created a new dynamic for the healthcare care organization organizations and they really now need to be cognizant of how they staff those physicians if they should have a vacancy. And vacancy is up. Vacancy is up in physician, nursing, right. all areas. And you help them because that's exactly where you come in. Absolutely. Wow. What a good business you have. It's really terrific. That's Susan Salkin. She's the president and CEO of AMN Healthcare Services. Need I point out that right after she told you that things were about to get hot in her business, the stock jumped 50 percent. She should listen. They have money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.